Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, before I start the video, I just want to let you know that those Sevilla Creations have been gracious enough to give us a discount code. Yay! The discount code is Candle Romance 20. I'm going to put the information down below in the description box, guys. Okay, so don't forget, take about the shopping, guys, and go shopping, shopping, shopping. Yes! Okay, let's continue with the video. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be playing with Dulceria Creation. They are located in Florida, guys, so check them out. I'm going to put all the details down below in the description box, guys. So today I have the honor of testing three different waxes. Yes! These are three of the waxes that they sell, guys, on the website. The first one is going to be Cera de Coco, which is coconut wax. And the second, uh, the second wax that I'm going to be using, guys, is Cera de Soya, which means this is a, a soy wax. And the third wax that I'm going to be testing, guys, is Cera de Olivo of olive, um, olive Wax. Okay, guys? So I'm going to give you a little bit of information. But before I do that, guys, let me tell you about the different vessels that we're going to be using to perform these beautiful candles. Okay, guys? So these are the bubble things from Candle Science, guys. So I'm going to be using CDM wigs because they recommend to use CDM wigs. I'm following the Cerias recommendations, okay? So I'm going to be uh, using a double CDM number two. On, on all these three different candles, guys, and let's see how it goes. Again, guys, I'm gonna be running an HD test at the end of the video, so this is gonna be a two-part video, okay, guys? So I want everyone to get the full effect with me. Okay, so let's talk about the different waxes, okay? The first wax that I'm gonna show you, guys, is called Cera de Coco Container Blend. This is it, okay? Uh, it's typical coconut wax, guys. It's kind of soft, okay, to the touch. Introducing Dulcerias on exclusive Singapore candle wax. Cera de Coco is a satiny smooth ultra white container blend wax that is warranted to give you a clean burn and a superior hot throw every time. Made with a proprietary blend of organic coconut wax and a touch of food grade paraffin. Okay, okay. so um, the good thing about this guy is the, uh, the it's a Singapore wax, shiny smooth surface, Excellent fragrance thresholds up to 10% fragrance load. Do not go above 10%, okay guys? And the instructions for this, uh, heat the wax to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, add the fragrance between 180 and 200, and pour immediately after. Zero cure time needed. Recommended uh, CDM week series. Okay, so we're gonna work on that, guys. Okay, fine. Okay, the second wax that I want to show you guys is this one, Cera de Soya Container Wax Blend. Okay, compared to the coconut wax, this one is a little bit harder, but still, it's kind of soft. It's a typical salt wax, okay? So let me just read you the information about this one. Introducing Dulcerias on exclusive Singapore candle wax, just like our Sierra de Coco. Sierra de Soya is a satin smooth, ultra white container blend wax that is warranted to give you a clean burn and superior hot throw every time. Made with a proprietary blend of organic soy wax and a touch of food grade paraffin. Excellent fragrance threshold up to 10% also. Excellent hot and cold throw. Creamy white color. Again, uh, excellent grass addition. And this one has a higher melt point than the coconut. This one has a 124 degrees Fahrenheit melt point and also is vegan. Same process as using the coconut wax. Heat the wax to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the fragrance between 180 and 200. Pour immediately after, okay, and zero cure time needed. Okay, it doesn't say in here how long you have to uh, stir the wax to stir the, uh, the fragrance oil. I will stay between one and two minutes, okay, just to make sure. That's what I will do. Okay, and the third wax is Cera de Oliva, okay. Let me see how this feels. Okay, this one is harder than the soy and the coconut, okay. Does it have a smell? No. They don't, they, none of them have any smell. Okay, introducing the Dulcerias on exclusive Singapore olive oil candle wax. Just like the Stella de Coco, Stella de Oliva is a satin smooth, creamy white wax. Has a very slight yellow tinge due to the olive oil, yes, compared to the other ones, but it's barely noticeable. If you don't tell me, I will not notice, okay? This container blend wax is warranted to give you a clean burn and a superior hot throw every time, made with a proprietary blend of organic oils. And again, it says, contain less than 2% of ultra-refined food-grade paraf safe paraffin. Again, this is a Singapore, shiny, smooth surface, excellent fragrance threshold up to 8%, okay? Cera de Limo will only take up to 8% fragrance load, okay? Excellent hot and cold throw, creamy, white, slightly yellow color. They're recommending to preheat the vessel before pouring. Okay, again, this has the same melt point as the soy, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Okay, and again, the hat is vegan and UV stabilizers to help maintain the brightness of the candle dyes. Okay, I'm looking at our neighborhood cat through the window. The process for this one is kind of different. Okay, heat the wax to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, add the fragrance between 180 and 200, cool to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, then pour. Okay, zero time cure needed, recommended week uh, is CDN. So this one has to be poured uh, at 150. So let me just make a note of that. So now that we get the wax out of the way, let me just get the measurements, okay? Okay, so this, I'm gonna be using seven ounces as a total fill, okay? So, I already made the numbers for all of them except for the last one, okay? So for candle number one and candle number two, guys, I'm gonna be using a 10% fragrance load, okay? So if I have seven ounces, so we do seven ounces times 0.10, that's gonna be 10%. So the fragrance love, uh, the amount of fragrance oil is 0 0.7, okay? That's what we're gonna be needing for candle one and two. Okay, for the candle number three, guys, if we're gonna be using 8%, so this is how we come up with the number, okay? So we do seven, because it's, that's the total amount, seven ounces, times 0 0.08, because that's what we need, okay? Uh, the amount of fragrance oil that we need is 0 0.56, okay? So let me just put that, a note on that. We have to find out how much wax we need, okay? Seven minus 0 0.7 equals 6.3. So for candle one and two, I'm gonna be needing 6.3 ounces of wax, okay? Which I already have noted in here. Now, on candle number three, you do seven minus 0.56 equals 6.4. Okay, so I'm gonna need 6.4. Okay, it says 6.44. But um, 6.4 is fine. Let's talk about the fragrance oils that I'm gonna be using today, guys, okay? So for t I, already, I also got three different fragrance oils from them, okay? The first one is Siberian Pine and Cedar. Let me read you the information about them. Siberian Pine and Cedar. Okay, let me just wet the test strip and tell you what I feel about it before I read any information, okay? I wanna tell you what I feel. What this gives me, because I, like I tell you guys, I believe in telling you my feelings when I smell a fragrance oil and not the notes, okay? So let's see. Wow, this is very strong. This is perfect for winter. Uh, pine greenery, cedar musk. Okay, I think this is a tiny bit too green for me. I mean, I like some kind of green, but this one is too green for me. But for those of you that like the, uh, the green kind of scent, guys, you're gonna love this one. It's very nice. I think it has some kind of uh, eucalyptus. I, I can smell in the background. Let me read the information, okay? Siberian pine and cedar. Our Siberian pine and cedar fragrance oil is a fresh, woody scent that will bring the aroma of the doors to your home. Yes, absolutely. This oil combines the tartness of pine with the deep, earthy scent of cedar to create a unique, inviting atmosphere. The top note is green, a middle note is Siberian pine, and the bottom note is cedar and moss. Now for candle kind of number two, I have a fresh basil and neroli. <laughs> Makes a difference when I tell you what I feel, what this gives me before I read the information. I just want, you know, and I have to be honest with you, this is the way I feel. Again, everybody has different olfactory uh, senses, you know, so things that I like, you may not, things that I don't like, you may love, okay? Okay, fresh basil and neroli. Now, this is my, this is my kind of vibe, woo! Okay, this is very, uh, it feels wintry also, it feels very cozy, it feels like very welcoming, very loving, my goodness. Uh, this is perfect to have on a family reunion, kind of a, in the background, you know. It smells expensive, it smells really sexy, guys, okay? L let me tell you the information that the website says, this fragrance blends its sensuality of flowers with earthy tones to craft a fresh and useful aroma. It highlights top notes of basil before revealing the floral heart and base composed of white moss and vetiver. Beautiful, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. The top note is basil, middle notes in the rolling, which I love. And the bottom note, white musk and vetiver. Oof, my favorite so far. Okay, now the last one, candle number three, is ozone and white eucalyptus. Okay, so let me see. Let me tell you what this gives me, guys. Here we go, guys. Ooh. Oh my God, this is very complex. This is very different. This is something very, also very romantic, very comforting, very like seductive. Oh my goodness, what's in here? 
Ozone and white eucalyptus is comprised of icy ozone and orange zest, top notes, blended with bergamot, jasmine, cotton blooms, and white eucalyptus middle notes, over a base of cedar wood and white moss. The top note, icy ozone, and orange zest, absolutely beautiful, guys. Middle note, bergamot, jasmine, cotton blooms, and white eucalyptus is so well blended, you know, it's, it's very complex, but it's very, it works together so well. And the bottom of cedar wood and white moss. Okay, my goodness. It's gonna be a great candle. Okay, that one's gonna be the 8% fragrance love. Okay, now let's start measuring the oils, guys. Okay, let me just get some beakers. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get the, the wick set up inside the vessels and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna get some paper towels. Candle number one is almost up to temperature. Okay, I'm gonna hit it to 200. And guys, the uh, Stella de Olivo is out of stock now, but it will, it should come back on September 14, okay? So be, be aware of that. Okay, it's 199.5, so I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. Okay, it smells divine. And I'm gonna stir for two minutes. Usually that's the amount of time that you should, you should stir, guys. So let's see, I'm taking the timer over there. Remember, it's very hot, so. You have to wear the mitten, guys. Come on, baby. Siberian, pine, and cedar. Okay, that's perfect. The next wax, which is the soy wax. And I'm gonna warm it up again to the same temperature, guys, two, between around 200 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna put it for four minutes. And I'll be back once I come to, into temperature, okay, guys? So this is candle number two. Let's see how hot this wax is. This is the soy wax. Okay, 201, I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. Okay, now I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna mix for two minutes. Okay, so it should be fine now. Candle number two, fre fresh basil and the oil. here we go. Guys, once you start pouring, don't stop. Candle okay. number three, this is the candle with the olive oil. Cera de oliva, I keep calling it olive oil. Cera de olivo. This wax is different, this candle is gonna be different, guys. This candle is gonna be, uh, you're gonna pour at about 150 degrees, okay? And I'm gonna stir for two minutes at least. I'm gonna stir this one until it comes to 150 degrees because I'm gonna follow these guys, cool to 150 degrees, then pour, okay? So I'm gonna stir these guys and I'm gonna wait until 150 degrees and I'll be right back, yes! Come on, candle number three. Okay guys, this is the last candle. I'm waiting to, until it comes to 150. It's 151. So okay, and here we go guys, the last candle. Okay, this is my favorite fragrance oil from the three of them, guys. This is ozone and white eucalyptus. It's truly amazing. I see the, the wax getting thicker. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna wait for all this to solidify, guys, and I'm gonna uh, run an HD test. So for that, I'll be right back, okay, guys? So part two of the video is coming up next. Yes! Success, success! Yeah. Hi, guys, welcome back to the video. So it's been four hours since I made these beautiful candles. Now I'm gonna trim the wicks out. So this one is the cedar de coco, which is the coconut wax. Let's see how the CT is there, but it's not strong. Uh, the scent that I have in here is Siberian pine and cedar, which it was very strong on the on the fragrance strip. It's very strong on the fragrance strip, but it doesn't translate on on the wax. Okay, so again, guys, I'm very, I'm being very honest. Okay, okay. So let me just show you the, the finish. It's very creamy, beautiful, very soft. Okay, again, it's been only four hours, so I cannot be too judgmental in this one. Okay, this one is cera de soya, which means soy wax. Let me see the, the CT. And this one is fresh basil and neroli. Okay, the, the fragrance strip is very strong. Uh, the CT is there, but it's very minimal. Okay, let me show you the, the finish. Again, very smooth, very beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is ozone and white eucalyptus. This is so far from the three of from the two of them, guys, from the three of them, this one has the strongest CT, okay? Beautiful. Look at the, the finish. This one has a kind of yellowish, but not too not too yellowish, but it's compared to the other ones. You see what I'm talking about, okay? Olive wax. Okay, the CT is out of this world. Beautiful. Let me just trim this one a little bit more. 
Uh, the candles are still a little bit warm. I am not gonna be doing a, an HT tonight. I'm gonna wait until they completely solidify, guys, and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and conduct the HT test because I I wanna give them a chance to cure a full 24 hours. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, okay, guys? So, okay, guys, so I'm very happy with them uh, so far. Um, I'm gonna give you more concrete opinion tomorrow morning. Uh, so part three is coming tomorrow, okay? Yay! Hi guys, we're back. So this is gonna be part three of the video, guys. So as you know, yesterday I made three beautiful candles using those three creation products. So I'm, I'm testing three different waxes, guys. The first wax is gonna be coconut wax or cera de coco. Wax number two is cera de soya or soy wax. And wax number three, cera de olivo, which is like um, olive wax, okay, guys? So let's see, let's do another CT test, guys, because I'm gonna be conducting an HT test. But first, let me tell you, what I feel about the CT the day after, after 24 hours, okay, this one is the fragrance oil that I use for this one is Siberian Pine and Cedar. Okay, this is beautiful, guys. This has developed from yesterday to today. This is night and day, okay? Compared to the, frag to the fragrance strip, it's true to the scent. So I compare the two of them, the strength, and it's the same. So I have a very strong CT on this one, guys. Okay, on candle number two, this one is Cera de Soya, soy wax. I'm using fresh baseline, not Neroli. Okay, let's see how the CT is on this one. This is candle number two. Epic. Truly really epic. I'm very happy because it got stronger, you know, as the time goes by. Beautiful. Same strength as the fragrance strip, guys. Amazing. Very happy. Okay, and the finish is beautiful, okay, in all of them. Okay, and Cera de Olivo, or Olive Wax, guys. Okay, this one has Ozone and Wild Eucalyptus. Okay, this is my favorite from the three of them, guys. Same strength as the Fragrance Strip. Beautiful, very aromatherapy, very spiritual for me, you know, very cleansing, very like, love it. Okay, guys, so this one, let me show you the Again, this one has the kind of finish that is um, it's different from the rest, meaning that if you can see on the light, it looks like a little bit like an oil slick kind of a finish, just the same as other waxes that I've done before, you know? It doesn't bother me. And again, this one is a tiny, 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 tiny bit yellowish. The CT is amazing. Okay, so here you go, the three of, the three beauties, guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing, guys, is I'm gonna be taking one by one, I'm gonna take them to the living room, and I have a special guest, my husband and my pet, yes! So I'm gonna take these three beautiful candles, uh, I'm gonna light them all one by one, because I wanna give them time to, for them to develop, okay, guys? And I'll be right back, so let me just get set up on the living room, and my husband is ready for me, yes! Hi guys, welcome back! And I have a special guest in here. I have my husband Matthew and Hello. our dog Milo. Yes, Milo. Milo's doing great, guys. And you know what happened with him, you know? Uh, cancer free so far, okay? Now we have another uh, dog. Uh, her name is Sasha and she's resting on the bed in there, so we are not gonna be bothering her, okay, guys? So Matthew's gonna tell you a few words about what he's wearing today. So, the main piece is this kilt. This is, Turn around so people can see it. Yeah, it's an eight yard, 13 ounce tartan kilt. And I love this bag in here. The detail is beautiful. A, um, I'll put a picture on it. I'll take a picture. From USA Kilts. Um, the, and the bell also has designs all around. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And what time is it now? It is 11.28. Uh, okay, so 11.30 guys. I'll be back in about an hour, okay? Yes! Okay guys, let's do an update. So it's been 45 minutes and I have to say guys, I'm getting this trend. Yes, hot throw is very nice guys. So this is candle number one. This is Siberian pine and cedar. Okay, and you can see the male pool is forming really nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna extinguish this guys. I'm very happy with the result, okay, of this one. I think for this size room, 45 minutes and it got filled up. For me, you know, it's, I think it's long enough, okay guys? So I'm gonna extinguish this one and I'm gonna do kind number two, okay? Yes! Okay, so let's do now candle number two. This one has fresh basil and neroli. Okay, candle number two is on and I'll be right back. 
Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back. Candle number two, guys, and it's giving me light. Now, I have to say, guys, this is not as strong as the first one. Of course, every scent is different. So, this is more mild. This is for the uh, for the people that likes uh, a nice fragrance, but it's not overpowering, you know. Uh, this one is really for you guys, okay? This one is uh, fresh basil and neroli. Okay, let me just show you the candle. And the male pool is forming beautifully. Okay, guys, so I'm timing them all up for one hour and see the results, okay? Ozone and white eucalyptus, which is my favorite scent from all three of them. So here it is. Okay, guys, I'll see you back in an hour. Yes! Okay, guys, welcome back to the end of the test. So this is gonna be candle number three. This is ozone and white eucalyptus. It smells beautiful, guys, on the test trip. Unfortunately, this is the candle that has given me the least amount of hot throat. But you know what, guys? Uh, it's good, that's why I run this test for you, okay? So this is the, uh, the candle that has cera de oliva or um, olive wax, okay? And this wax number two has the soy wax and wax num uh, candle number one, it has the coconut wax, okay, guys? So I have to say, for me personally, I think the strongest HT is between candle one and candle number two, okay? So I'm gonna go back into my studio, candles, into my candle studio, guys, and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, okay? Yes, yeah, success, success! Okay guys, welcome back. So this is the end of the video where I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, okay guys? So on today's video, guys, the goal was to test three different waxes from, from Dulceria Creations, guys. Wax number one for candle number one is Cera de Coco, which is coconut wax, okay? And that candle I mixed with beautiful uh, scent, Siberian Pine and Cedar, also from Dulceria Creations. Candle number two, it has Cera de Soya, which is soy wax, and that one I pair with Fresh Basil and Neroli, also from Duceria Creations. And candle number three is Cera de Olivo. I call it olive oil, but it's not olive oil, it's um, olive wax, okay? And that one I pick ozone and white eucalyptus, okay? As you saw before, guys, I just ran an HT test on the three of them, okay? I basically ran, uh, I wanted to give a time limit for the, three, for the three candles to perform, so I can evaluate depending on the time that it took for each and every candle to develop an HT or hot throw, okay? Now, candle number one, it did exceptionally well, guys. I got the scent, guys, in, after an hour, guys, the whole house really like, got filled up, so I was very happy with that one, guys. Uh, scent number two, uh, Cera de Soya, uh, the same was good, but it's not as potent as the first as the first uh, fragrance oil, okay guys? Again, it was not the same fragrance oil, it was different fragrance oils, though of course it gonna, it's gonna have different characteristics, okay? Now, wax number three, or candle number three, the one with the uh, Cera de Olivo, ozone and white eucalyptus, uh, it was kind of disappointing because it, uh, the hot roll did not develop after an hour and 10 minutes. I was expecting to be to more, more st stronger, you know, hot roll, guys, and it, it could not compare to the other two, okay? So, and I have to be honest when I tell you this, guys, uh, this is why I make these videos for you, okay, guys? So, overall, I'm not saying that the wax is bad, I'm just saying that these are the results that I got using this fragrance oil, okay? And overall, guys, I'm very happy with the, uh, the way they're all burning. I love the way the different finishes that they got on the wax. As you can see, I'm using a double CDN number two on each and every one of these candles, and I think it's working out beautifully. As you can see, the flame is like, it's barely moving and I'm very happy with the results, okay guys? So this is my assessment for you guys today. So guys, don't forget to uh, share and subscribe to my channel, like the video guys, and also visit my uh, website, candleromance.shop, so you can purchase some of my beautiful candles guys. And guys, until the next video guys, I'll see you. Take care of yourself and thank you for watching. Yay! Yeah! Success, success, success!